Next, you have to define an HSM rest machining operation to perform finishing in these tight corners of the model. In the Solid Cam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose HSM from the Add Milling Operation submenu. When the HSM Operation dialog box is displayed, click the drop-down menu in the Technology section and choose Rest Machining. As you can see, the solid model of the target is automatically selected for the machining geometry by default. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button to display the part tool table. You have to define a smaller ball nose mill to perform the finished machining of the rest areas. Click the Add Milling Tool button and select Ball Nose Mill from the list. Under the Topology tab, set the diameter value to 4 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, but change the number of flutes to 2. Next, switch to the Tool Data tab to define the default feed and spin data for the selected tool. For feed XY, enter a value of 3000 mm per minute. For feed Z, enter a value of 300 mm per minute. For spin rate, enter a value of 8500 RPMs. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Constraint Boundaries page. The parameters from the previous HSM operation are automatically assigned to the current operation by default. Next, switch to the Reference Tool page. This page enables you to define the reference tool used for the rest machining toolpath calculation. SolidCam determines the rest material areas using a reference tool and the current tool defined for the operation. The reference tool is usually larger than the tool that will be used to cut the rest areas. Enter a diameter value of 6.25 mm. This was the diameter of the tool used in the previous operation. For more information on the reference tool definition, refer to the SolidCam milling help. Switch to the Passes page to define the major parameters which affect the passes that are generated to machine the rest material areas. In the Passes area, leave the offsets at zero since this is a finishing operation. Enter a step down and step over value of 0.05 millimeters. In the Limits area, click the Z Top button to define the upper machining level. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top face of the stock model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Then, click the Z bottom button to define the lower Z level of the machining. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the lower face of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. For this CAM part, the remaining default passes parameters will provide an effective, and favorable result for the finished machining of the rest areas. Next, switch to the link page to define the tool link movements for the operation. The default settings on the general, strategy, retracts, leads, down up mill, and refurbishment tabs are used. For more information on the linking definition of down up mill and refurbishment, refer to the SolidCam milling help. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the HSM toolpath can be viewed on the model. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the operation to the camp tree and calculate the toolpath. After the calculation is completed, click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Switch to the Solid Verify simulation mode. After the updated stock calculation is completed for the operation, click the Play button. The tool approaches and finishes the rest areas of the model with a generated set of passes. When the tool machines along the vertical corners, note that the movements are performed from the top down, resulting in a preferred machining technique. At this point, 
The HSM rest machining operation has performed finishing of all the rest areas of the model with optimal results. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the HSM rest machining operation dialog box. For more information regarding the HSM module, refer to the SolidCam milling help. At this stage, step 5 is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to define the first part of finishing the mold core with the HSM module.